Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play Giant Steps by John Coltrane. I'll be teaching you how to play that main melody and chords, okay? So it goes like this, a lot of like fast changing chords. Pretty much every melody is a matter of a chord, okay? So it's good for practicing chords for this one. So here we go, give you a preview before we start learning it. This is what we're going to learn. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn it. Okay, here we go. So that's a melody and chords. So once you learn it, you can like like add your own improvisations if you want. Okay. So anyways, a lot of like chords. Okay. So that's how it is for this type of genre of like kind of jazz bebop. It's like really fast changing chords. It's very intense. Okay. Even with the improvisations, it's like really really fast. Okay. So get the melody and chords first, and then practice it. Then you can make up your own version afterwards. Okay. So here we go. We'll break it up to a few parts, it's easier to learn. So the first part, right hand starts on the F sharp. So middle C, go up an octave C, just start on the F sharp up here. So it goes F sharp, D, down to B, down to G, and up to B flat, B, A. Okay, and that's it for the first part. Let's do it again. So it goes F sharp, D, B, G, B flat, B, A. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Left hand, uh, we have these following chords okay so there's a lot of chords so pay attention right here let's do it slowly first chord is b major seven which is a four note chord in fact every single chord in this lesson is a four note chord so remember that so it's b major seven is b d sharp f sharp a sharp and then we have d seven which is d f sharp a c and then we have g major seven which is g b d f sharp and then we have b flat seven which is b flat d f a flat and then we have E flat major 7, which is E flat G, B flat D. And then we have A minor 7, which is fully white note chord, A, C, E, G. And then D7, which is D, F sharp, A, C, that you learnt earlier as the second chord. Okay? So yeah, quite a lot of chords. You had 7 chords for this first part. Let's do it again. This goes B major 7, D7, G major 7, B flat 7, E flat major 7, A minor 7, and D7. Okay, so with these chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it's really easy for the whole lesson. Every single right hand note and every single left hand chord is all played together. Okay, so yeah, uh, you just you don't have to remember much where you have to put it together because it's just all played in unison like this. So together, like that. Okay, so okay. At the start, it might be hard to change that quickly, so practice it slowly, like practice the jumps between each chord. Be like, okay, first two, and the next one, and the next one, and that etc. Okay, so try to get that, and then before you put it all together. Okay, moving on to the second part, right hand continues, goes up to D, down to B flat, down to G, down to D sharp, up to F sharp. And then it goes G and B flat. Okay? So yeah, that's it for this second part. Okay, let's do it again. It goes D, B flat, G, D sharp, F sharp, G, F, B flat. Okay, just like that. Alright, now left hand, we have these following how many chords? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chords this time. So the eight chords this time. Okay, we, first of all we have G major 7, which is G, B, D, F sharp, and then we have B flat 7, which is B flat, D, F, A flat, and then E flat major 7, which is E flat, G, B flat, D, and then we have F sharp 7, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E, and then we have B major 7, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and then it goes F minor 7, which is F, A flat, C, E flat, B flat 7 which is B flat D F A flat and an E flat major 7 which is E flat G B flat D okay so with these chords in mind so we have uh, G major 7 and then B flat 7 E flat major 7 F sharp 7 B major 7 F minor 7 B flat 7 E flat major 7 yeah 
Once again, the two hands together is really simple. All the right hand notes and the left hand chords are all played together. It just goes like this. There you go. One more time. So. Oops, try again. So don't confuse the uh, like B7 and the B major 7. That's what I just made the mistake of, okay? So learn from that mistake and let's try again. So. There we go. So yeah, if you make those similar mistakes of mixing up the chords, just practice it a few times and get it right. Okay. So yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. That's that's so far the two parts we've learned so far. So back to back, we'll just play it so you know how to connect the two parts of work. Okay. So. Beautiful. Now moving on to the third part. Right hand continues goes. B, A, D, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp. Just like that, that's the third part. One more time, it goes B, A, D, D sharp, D sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have six chords here. The six chords are A minor seven, which is A, C, E, G. And D seven, which is D, F sharp, A, C. And G major seven, which is G, B, D, F sharp. Now we have C sharp minor seven, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, E. And the F sharp seven, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E. B major 7, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So yeah, these six chords. So let's do it again. This goes A minor 7, A, D7, G major 7, and C sharp minor 7, F sharp 7, and B major 7. Alright, once again, the six notes on the right hand with the six chords on the left hand together. So together, 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 together. There you go, that's the third part, okay? One more time. So together, together, together. Alright, so back to back, the three parts of lunch so far would be played like this. Check it out. There you go. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand goes G, G up to B flat, and then two F sharps. There you go, one more time, it goes G, G, B flat, F sharp, F sharp, just five notes on the right hand. Left hand we have five chords, the five chords are F minor 7, which is F, A flat, C, E flat, and the B flat 7, which is B flat, D, F, A flat, and then we have E flat major 7, which is E flat, G, B flat, D, and then C sharp minor 7, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, B, and then F sharp 7, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E. There you go, that's the five chords. One more time, so F minor 7, B flat 7. E flat major 7, C sharp minor 7, F sharp 7. Alright, the two hands together goes like this G and the, well, I guess, once again, all the notes and chords are in unison, so nothing much, so just together. Simple, there you go, one more time, so together. And that's it, so back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. There you go. So that's the melody and chords of this. So if you want to like add improvisations, you can. Okay, you can even harmonize it a bit more on the right hand to make it thicker in texture. So you can be like. Yeah, so you can like kind of like make it thicker in like texture for both hands if you want as well. Okay, so yeah, um, for the improvisations, you can even do solos, but it's pretty hard to do because you need to like really change really quickly with the chords. So you really have to think of all the harmonies like crazy fast. So you really need to master the left hand chords first because you need to know where your tonality is before adding like left hand extra steps, okay? Yeah. Let me see. Like you really have to think really quickly. I can't think that quickly right on the spot right there. But yeah, just make sure to practice the left hand really good first. Get all the chords into your head first. I essentially like I think I can, but like you just really have to like remember those chords first. Okay, so really remember the chords, memorize it, and then uh, start to add like scales based on those uh, chords as well on it. Okay, so have fun with that. Really fun tune to play. I really love Giant Steps, this tune. It's really interesting. It's very like different compared to other tunes because of like 
uh, it's not a really conventional type of chord progression and that makes it awesome <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, have fun with it, okay? As for now, if you want to learn more jazz standard melody and chords like these, go ahead, search up the rest of my channel and learn your favorite jazz standard. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.